In this video, I will show how to create a Nearpod lesson using an existing PowerPoint presentation. First, I will ensure that I am happy with my PowerPoint presentation and I've saved it to my desktop. Next, I will log into Nearpod. Here in my Nearpod library, I'm going to add my PowerPoint presentation. To do this, I'm going to click Create Lesson. In here, I can upload my PowerPoint. I'm going to click Upload Files and search for my PowerPoint. Nearpod is now uploading my PowerPoint. Once your PowerPoint is uploaded, you will see that it has been separated into slides. You can give it a name, and now you can start creating your activities. To add some interactive activities, you're going to need to click Add Slide. In this list, you will see that there are a variety of interactive activities that you can add to your slideshow. Some of my favorites include the drawing activity, the collaborate board, and the quiz. The first activity I'd like to add is actually a video. So I'm going to click Video. The video I'd like to use is on YouTube. So I'm going to search for it here. I've already previewed it on YouTube and I know that this is the correct video, so I'm going to select this one. Now that I've added an activity, I see it here in my list of slides. I'm going to click and drag to where I would like it to display. Now I would like to add some interactive activities. The first activity I'm going to add is a poll. Now that I've added all of my polls, I'm going to sort them as well. I'm happy with this lesson as a start. I'm going to click Save and Exit. From your library, you can preview your lesson. You will see how Nearpod has now incorporated your slides and your activities. My lesson is now complete with my slides and activities. From here, I can now share it as a live lesson or as a student-paced lesson. Live lessons are great if you are teaching virtually using Zoom or if you're in a classroom teaching face-to-face. Student-paced lessons are great for incorporating into Moodle as an asynchronous activity. I will show you how to do both. If you are delivering this live to a group of students, you would click from your Nearpod library, Live Participation. Nearpod will generate a five-digit code that you can send to your students. Students can join your live lesson using any kind of device that is connected to the internet, such as a phone, a laptop, or a tablet. Once they visit join.nearpod.com and type in the code, they will be into your lesson. As students are joining your lesson, you will see them appear here in your student list. As well on the bottom toolbar, you will see your list of slides. And as the instructor, you can choose to either show or hide student names in the activities. Another great thing about Nearpod if you're delivering it live is the code will remain here in the top left corner. If a student joins your class late, they can always see the code here to join the lesson. Once all of your students have joined, you can now progress through your lesson. As the instructor, you control the pace of the lesson. Using these blue arrows on the left and right hand sides of your lesson, you can progress through your slides. As you click the arrows, the progression will also happen on the students' screens. When you get to an activity slide, your students will be prompted to answer the question. If you'd like to view what they're viewing, you can go in the top right corner here and click to, to switch to student view. Once you see that all of the students have answered the question, you can progress to the next question. In your professor view, you can see how many students have answered the question and what they've responded with. If you'd like to share out the results to everybody who's participating, you can click on the share button and the students will see everybody's responses. This is where the show and hide student names option is handy. You can either choose to keep it anonymous or share the names. When you're done your lesson, you can exit your lesson. And if you would like to review the reports from the lesson, you can click on reports. From here, your lesson will show up and you will see the students' names and their responses. This is great formative feedback from your class and can be used to inform future lessons. So now that we've covered how to deliver a live Nearpod lesson, I will show you now how to create a student pace lesson. The great thing about Nearpod is you can create one lesson and deliver it two different ways. Student pace lessons also generate a code. There are some handy options here that you might want to change. Firstly are the number of days remaining. 
You can click on the calendar icon here and make your lesson available for a predetermined period of time. Next, I recommend two different ways of sharing your lesson. One could be using this link. So if you click on link, this is a link that you can share with your students. You can share it in Moodle, you can share it via email, social media, any other way that you communicate with your students. When they click on that link, they will join the student paced version of your lesson. In that student paced version, they will be able to complete all of the activities, including any kind of interactive questions that you've built in. With students who are joining student paced lessons, their responses are also recorded in the reports section of your Nearpod library. So this is handy too if you are delivering an online asynchronous course. It is also handy if you're delivering virtual courses and perhaps you have a student who has missed class. They can always catch up on the lesson later. In addition to sharing your student paced lesson via a link, you can also create a, an embed code. This is handy if you'd like to embed it on a page in Moodle. I generally recommend making the screen size large. And from here, you can copy this iframe text. Navigating to your course in Moodle, you can now embed your student paced lesson using that embed code that you've just copied. Click Add an activity or resource, Page, give your Moodle page a name, and in the page content area here, click to open the advanced buttons. These two brackets here represent HTML code. If you click on that, you can now paste your iframe code. Click those brackets again, and you'll see a preview of your lesson. You can click Save and Display to check it out. And voila, your lesson is now saved in Moodle. The great thing about using an embed code from Nearpod is your students can click on a Moodle page and automatically access that lesson. All they need to do is type in their name and join the lesson. From there, students can navigate through the lesson.